Boys, it's coffee time. I let it get cold. And it's also like at the very bottom of the cup. And so now it's like kind of kind of silty coffee. Also, the cat is desperately trying to cover up that awful deuce that he just bombed. Oh my goodness. But I feel kind of like, you know, when there's a kid who's really awful, like just an awful kid, and then they have a baby and their baby winds up being an awful kid and they say, I get it now. I feel like this all came back around to teach me a lesson. I feel like that's what's happening right now because all day today people were telling me that my farts smelled awful. And then I come home and the first thing that my cat does to greet me is, is poop, like the worst poop in a while. That was your worst poop in a long time. It smells so So that's how I feel right now. I feel like, you know, I feel like that, that first generation of awful child that then had an awful child, but, but farts. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense to me. So today I went and looked at furniture, which was hilarious because when you go to the mall and you look at, uh, they have directories, at least here, <laughs> they have directories that say, oh, you want clothes? Go to these stores. You want Home goods, go to these stores. You want jewelry, go to these stores. So I looked at the home goods section in every mall. And it's hilarious at the, like, ritzy LA malls, what they consider to be home goods. It's, like, it's legitimately really funny. Tiffany & Co. was on home goods. Why? Because they have, like, weird crazy vases and things, I guess. But but it's mostly a jewelry company. It was so funny. I was looking at the list. Jeannie and I were both just like, what? <laughs> but I got to spend a decent amount of the day sitting on couches and I couldn't ask for a better, a better way to spend my time. But it made me realize, A, sleeper couches, sleeper sofas, if you will, are notoriously extremely uncomfortable, which makes me sad because I would love to just have like a really comfortable couch that then becomes a bed so that I have like a guest area, right? No, 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 <laughs> not, not today, Madam Dodger, no, no, because every sleeper so far in the world is apparently extremely uncomfortable. So sad. And part of me was like, ah, oh, maybe I could get one that's just like bearable and then just sit in it a lot so that, you know, the cushions like, break down and, and, and it's comfy. But that's the thing. That's what I don't get about it is that, you know, you've got the like, the, the like sleeper sofa is in there and then there are cushions that go on top. Why do the cushions that are on top have to be so uncomfortable when they're not attached it? Like they're not, I don't get it. I don't get it. There must be a sleeper sofa out there that is so comfortable that it blows minds. I just haven't experienced that couch yet. Also, um, it's funny because I went to enough places that I would see couches and be like, I know somebody who owns that couch or, oh, I've seen that couch at somebody's place before. <laughs> like, oh, I'm seeing all these couches. Now I know where all of these individual people have shopped. That's weird. But uh, there was one couch that I really, really liked and it was super cheap. And I'm thinking that I might get it. I'm not positive yet. It's not like, it's not... It's not the sort of couch where you sit on it and you're like, oh, I'm never leaving. I'm sinking into it forever. But it's also not super firm and uncomfortable. It's like right in the middle of the road, which I think is kind of nice because every now and then if I, if I sit on a, my legs are not long enough to reach the floor unless I'm in a very small couch. Let's start off that way. So if I'm sitting in a couch that you can sink into very easily. Yes, it is comfortable, but it takes probably three times the amount of effort to get out of that couch than a normal person because I literally, I can't touch the ground. It takes a lot of effort to get to the point where I can touch the ground again. So I really appreciate couches that are comfortable, that are deep enough that I feel like I can kind of sink into them a little bit, but I know that it's not gonna take too much effort for my feet to hit the floor. And this couch has all that, Plus, it's very cheap. So I'm like, all right, 
keeping you keeping you on the brain docket. There's also um, a uh, coffee table that I found that I loved. Okay, so my two things, two things that I love with all my heart. Are you ready? Wood that doesn't have a finish on it that's like super glossy. So like it can it can you know have a nice stain. Can have a nice finish, that's fine. But if it's glossy, I'm, I'm immediately not interested anymore. So like really rustic wood and then metal. So I went to two different places today that had all these different tables that were like really nice rustic wood tops with like metal legs. And I was like, I want all of them, but they're huge. They're like, they're intended for people who are like, man, I have like eight rooms and I don't know what to do with them. And I'm like, that's not me. I need, I need like, I need this to be made for a small person's home because guess what? No matter where I live, I am not going to have a ton of space to just blow. I need, I need space saving equipment, but I still want, I still want that, that wood and that, and that metal. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm like, I'm scouring scouring the LA area, I'm scouring the internet to find these things. Um, I think I sh I think I told you guys about this yesterday maybe, but, um, I want to go to like a flea market still and see if I can find, um, something kind of old and weird because that's also right up my alley. <laughs> so yeah, so we'll see, but that was like, that's pretty much what I did with my day. And it was really fun. Like I didn't buy anything. It was just more of like a, okay, I want to get an idea of what I like, what I want. Um, if there are things that really catch my eye, I'll take a picture of them, you know, things like that. And, uh, and there are a couple of things that I might go back for, but I don't know. I need to, I need to think about it some more. And, and once I have a place like measure it and stuff like that so that I can get a good idea. But the last thing that I want to do the last thing that I want to do is just go, all right, this is good enough and just get something and then be unhappy with it. But at the same time, I can't, I don't want to be that person who just like, can't, you know, it's just like, oh, this is a lot. This is a lot to deal with. I'm just not going to buy a couch. <laughs> you know, I can't do that either. So I'm like, okay, I can, I can, I can do this. I can come up with something. You know, I can come up with come up with something. Be good. So yeah. Kitty, I'm gonna get you a new cat tree. But not at first. At first he's gonna need his old cat tree so that he has something to ground himself. But later on. I'm gonna get you a new cat tree. Huh. I'm gonna get you a new cat tree. Oh, yeah. So every now and then I go on like on pet websites and I look at cat trees and I'm like, oh, look at all these cat trees, Sherlock. And he just, he doesn't care. Obviously he doesn't understand, but oh, one day, <laughs> one day Sherlock will have his own room because I'll be a bajillionaire. <laughs> look, if I am a bajillionaire, Sherlock's getting his own room. That's all there is to it. There'll be a cat room. We'll be filled with cat trees. And you and Watson Kitty can go on all the adventures in cat tree room. And at night, so that I don't freak myself out by hearing you and Watson Kitty knock things over, I can just put you in the cat tree room. I know. I'm blowing minds right now. I understand. You need a minute. I get it. <laughs> um, yeah. It's late <laughs> because I was out. It was out very late. I um, we also got ramen with um, with Krender and Jesse. Went to ramen ya because it's amazing. I ate like almost all of my ramen, and those bowls are huge. They're like I just can't. oh god, it was just so good. I was proud of Jesse. Jesse took took his leftovers home. It's like, it's really good leftover. It's really good. So I think that it's probably best if 
because remember it's like the spicy egg flour soup with ramen in it. So like the times that I've taken it home have been, I eat all of the noodles and then there's a bunch of broth left and then I take the broth home and then you can just eat the broth as just like a soup. Drool, 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 drool. And it's so good. Oh, but yes. So that was fun. And Krender goes back tomorrow. I didn't get to hang out with him very much, but that's okay. Oh, but I'm going to go and watch more elementary. I'm on episode 12, I think. So, yeah. Hope you guys had a good day. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah, kitty.